Hey guys, welcome to question FM 319 of the Further Maths 4 to 5 study guide. This question reads, a hemispherical bowl of radius 13 centimeters is shown in the diagram below. A cone and spherical cap are made by pouring sugar into the bowl. The cone has a height of 10 centimeters and then we're given a diagram that looks a little like this one. The question then goes on to say, the volume of just the cone in cubic centimeters is closest to what? So this makes this question a little bit easier because we're only finding the volume of the cone and not also the uh, spherical cap that we've got going on there. So we're going to start by looking at the equation for the volume of a cone. So in order to find the volume of a cone, we're going to have to take a third by pi r squared times the height of the cone. So we know that the height of this cone is going to be 10 centimeters. However, the radius ends up being a little more tricky than you might think to begin with. So a lot of students will run into a problem where they uh, mistake the radius as being 13 centimeters because that was the radius of the bowl. But if you think about it down here where the bottom of this cone is, the radius of this smaller circle is actually gonna be much smaller than 13 centimeters. So we need to be able to figure out what uh, that radius is going to be. So imagine that we were to slice into uh, this cone and look at it sort of through a slice. So we would have the tip of the cone here and the slope of the cone there. And then from the tip of the cone straight down uh, to the center of the circle that would make up the bottom of the cone. And then straight from that center point to the outside. So that would mean that our new radius is down here. Now the height from the tip of the cone to the center of the circle that would make up the bottom of our cone, we know is going to be 10 centimeters, because we're told here. However, the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle is going to be a little bit harder to figure out. Now, we know that the radius of this bowl is 13 centimeters, which means that any uh, line that goes from the center uh, to the outside of this bowl or touching the bowl is also going to be 13 centimeters long. So for that reason, the point from the center of this bowl, the tip of this cone to the bowl is also going to be 13 centimeters long here. So dropping in a little bit of a revised Pythagoras theorem equation, we've got uh, a side length that isn't the hypotenuse is going to be equal to the square root of c squared minus b squared. So a equals root of c squared minus b squared. Substituting uh, our variables in, we've got r is equal to the square root of 13 squared minus 10 squared. Whacking that into your calculator, you should get an answer there of root 69. So plugging that all back into our original equation for the volume of a cone. So our volume is going to be equal to one third times pi times root 69 squared times our height of 10. Plugging that all into a calculator should land you with an answer of roughly 722.57 centimeters cubed, which looks very much like option A. If you guys have any questions about this question for us, please leave us a comment uh, in the comment section comment section below and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.